Good morning, folks. Welcome to Bridges Bus. My name's John. I'm Carol. And this is our boudoir. Our tatty bedroom. <laughs> <laughs> Carol's not been able to do a lot in here because of me stuck in bed. Um, well, on the bed. Um, I'm on the mend, which is good. Uh, I go to Bangor tomorrow to get the stitches took out. And we'll go from there what needs doing. Um, they didn't put a plaster on my foot. They put the boot on. Gave them the boot. Yeah. So I'm all wrapped up with the bandage and so on. Um, oh, sorry, Carol. Uh, bear with us. There we go. Yeah, so with not a lot of news to share with you um, because I've not been able to get out and about and prior to the operation once I got a date with being the only driver in the house we've missed a lot of opportunities to put videos out because we're doing personal things and getting stuff ready for the operation um, there is some news I can share with you the Gwinnie Council has finally responded to my emails. Um, it's took them six months and six emails every month to get them to respond. The so-called heirs they're building here in Gwynedd, the French style heirs as they class it, hasn't yet started. Um, apparently uh, they had all the funding which is good news but due to them having to get planning permission and yada 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 it, it's taken longer than they expected they've actually got two heirs that they've got the plan permission for and those are meant to be well were meant to be up and running by mid-july um, as of today they're still not started on apparently um the, the two that they've got the go ahead for is in Krikov, uh which is the main car park just behind the main street going through from Porth Maddock to Pofeli. Um it's going to be at the back there the other one is in the center of Pofeli, which is um up near the railway station so those are the two that they've got the plan permission for. The others, they've not yet decided exactly where they're going to be placed. They have named certain towns, but they don't know where they're going to put them. So uh, until they actually get the finger out and sort that out, I can't see all six being built this year. So that's a bit of a put off, but there is some good news. Um, I, a few videos back, I did um, uh, airs here in Fairborn that was built at the Old Springfield Hotel, which is now the Ganymore. Yeah. Yeah, the Ganymore. Um, they built an airs there. They've actually put electric in there now. So hopefully, with Carol will try and find out later on. Yeah. Um, what the charge is with the electric. It was five pound a night um, to park up. It had now it's got electricity as well. It's got it is a fully functional airs. So you got electric, water, grey waste and black waste disposal. Um, so everything's there. And like I say, where where it's parked, you're less than five minutes walk from the beach. You can't really complain. Five minutes away from the pub. Yeah five minutes away from the pub as well um i'll put a link below to where to that video so if you want to find out where it is have a look yeah uh that's about it really for now um hopefully once i'm on on the mend um we'll be able to get out the house a bit more yeah. unfortunately we're what we live in what they call a townhouse which is four stories plus Ten steps. Ten steps going up to the front door. So I'm, I'm, the, the way I am at the moment, I, I can't even get out the front door. So 
things are to be put on hold, haven't they? Yeah. Uh, so that's about it, really. Um, we've had um, a few people message us privately, asking how I'm getting on and so on. And I um, thank you for everyone who sent their best wishes and wish me a speedy recovery. Uh, it's um, it, it's touching, isn't it, to know it's, that it's very much appreciated. Pe people are concerned yeah. and. It shows you who your real friends are when this happens. So the, the comments have been, some of the messages is, what you had done? And when I've told them, they said, oh, I didn't know they do that. Well, what I've actually had done is a complete ankle replacement. You, you, we all know about knee replacements and hip replacements. Um, ankles are rarely done. It's usually just a fusion, unless they decide it's not worth the trouble fusing it. So, um, yeah, I've had the complete ankle replacement and we were told it could be six to three to six months yeah. before I could drive. But um, prior to the operation, I was told, well, if everything goes to plan and I get back on my feet quicker, it could be six to eight weeks. So let's hope it's the latter. Yeah. Uh, you know, um, not the latter, is it? It is. <laughs> yeah, let's hope it's done. I'm on the main quicker. So that's where we are. Um, if you want to know what I've actually had done, I can actually I can put a short video together showing the procedure, how they've done it, and so on. That's about it, really, isn't it? Well, no, it's okay. What? I was going to say, won't YouTube say next to that? Mm -hmm. Well, YouTube say no, that you can't do that. No, no, no. You, you should be able to sh share gruesome videos of bones being chopped and sawed up. Um, <laughs> as long as I put a warning up. <laughs> yeah. So yeah. So if you want to see that, I'll um, can share some photos and some video of the operation. Um, let me know in the comment if you want to be gruesome and <laughs> see me being abused and mutilated <laughs> <laughs> yeah, okay well, you, that is it um <laughs> yeah so yeah thanks for sticking with us thanks for understanding and thank you to every 800 plus of you now yeah. that has subscribed uh we've had what is it 40 45 thousand views yeah yeah so the views getting up there um as well so thank you all for spending that time with us it's much appreciated yeah and yeah. um, we're looking forward to seeing you all again when we're on a on my pins and out and about yeah. so until then take care happy traveling happy traveling and thanks for tuning in catch you in the next video bye, bye. for now Bye. Yeah.